It's now time for Trivia Tracks with yours truly, Price Robertson. This edition of Trivia Tracks is brought to you by ProMed Ambulance Services, care you can count on, and Beth Smith at Edward Jones. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. One of wrestling's hottest properties during the territorial era, Jose Lothario, worked for such promotions as the NWA and the WWF. He was born at Guadalupe Robledo in Monterey, Mexico on December 12, 1934. Lothario started his career in his homeland in the early 50s, having already earned success there as a luchador. In other words, a Mexican professional wrestler frequently but not always masked, Lothario was an established commodity when he moved to America in 1957, working in the Carolinas under the name Joe Garcia. He later made his way into the Gulf Coast territory as El Gran Lothario a nickname that stuck throughout his career. Playing off his strong background in boxing, Lothario held several brass knucks titles in various territories, with rugged tape fist belts becoming one of his specialties. Dusty Rhodes, who began his career in his home state of Texas while Lothario was a headliner, called him the greatest Latin American wrestler and babyface in the world, and one of his top five performers of all time. Lothario competed in the NWA for most of his career, though he once had a losing streak of over 500 matches. On Christmas Day 1970, Lothario teamed up with Danny Miller to defeat the Infernos and win the NWA Florida Tag Team Championship. According to the storyline, the previous champions, Dusty Rhodes and Dick Murdoch, had been stripped of the title. Lothario's biggest feuds were with Gino Hernandez, whom he defeated in a hair match in November 1978 and El Gran Marcus. Teaming with Mel Vizcaras, Lothario drew massive crowds in Houston and San Antonio against the heel duo of Black Gordman and Greg Goliath. During his run in Florida, he shared the Southern Tag Team title with Don Curtis, Dory Funk Jr., and Joe Scarpa, a.k.a. Chief J. Strongbow, on three occasions, and held tag team belts with Argentina Apollo and the aforementioned Danny Miller. During his run in Texas, he shared the American Tag Team belts on three occasions with El Halcon, and had runs with other attractions in the state as well, including Tiger Conway Jr. and Ivan Putsky. Lothario trained an up-and-coming Shawn Michaels in the 80s, and soon became his manager in the WWF. In one of the companies in your house shows, Lothario squashed Jim Cornette. He continued to manage Michaels until 19. 1997, and briefly returned to WWF in January 1999 as part of a storyline involving his protege. His wife, Jean, once wrestled for Joe Blanchard's Southwest Wrestling Alliance, while his son, Pete, followed in his dad's footsteps as well. Jose Lothario died on November 6, 2018, for natural causes at the age of 83. In 2021, he was posthumously inducted into the Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame and Museum. Till next time, I'm Price Robertson. Amazed by today's trivia? Then join me for Trivia Tracks weekdays at 645 on Everybody's Country Y95.